Let's begin with our compound interest formula, a equals p 1 plus r to the t. In this case, we're solving for the interest rate. So let's isolate the r. Let's start by dividing both sides by p, and that cancels out. And then we take the teeth root to cancel out the exponent. And then we subtract both sides by 1. And it's time to plug in some numbers. So we have 5,000 for the amount over 4,000 for the principal. And the number of compounding periods would be 10 years times 2 because it's semi annual. So that would be 20. And we're subtracting 1. We stick that into our calculator and we come up with 0 0.011 which we can convert to 1.1%. Now we have to double check ourselves and we look and we see that we're compounding semi-annually. So this 1.1% is per compounding period, remember, or per half a year. Now normally we're asked to report the interest rate in percent per year. So we'll have to double that. So we have 2.2% per year.